Welcome back guys to another GTA 5 LSPDFR patrol and this time around we are playing as the CTSFOs, the counter-terrorism specialist firearms officers. I'll show you the fleet we have right now. I've also got the amazing SIG MCX from El Pavel as well as the amazing uniforms from the same guy as well. As you can see this is the um, X5 typical ARV we might have to use as backup. Here are the armoured personnel carriers. So this is a Jankel, it's a fully armoured vehicle. These are lightly protected but they've also, um, you can use these as well. And we have the X5 unmarked, which we're going to go in today. So this is going to be our vehicle. Now, a lot of information that the CTS foes use these cars because uh, they do tend to be quite low key, and they won't really tell people what vehicles they use exactly. But it could be a mix of things, and this is going to be one of the cars from the SCNO19 garage. So we're going to head to the location right now because currently we have an attempted heist, which may be terrorism related. There's someone that's tried to break into a bank, and they're driving a vehicle. Which we've been spotted on the map. We're going to drive against traffic shortly. And just a reminder for you guys: if you're thinking about buying a new game today, or looking for some DLC for GTA 5 Online or any other games, you can check out our partners, Instant Gaming, in the description. They offer almost up to over 70% off some of your favorite titles, brand new games, games you love, DLC, anything. Use the special link in the description below in this video in order to get some very, very good discounts. You'll also be helping my channel out by the proceeds going towards my modding. So see you there. Back to the video. Let's try to figure out which is the best way to get there. And let's go up this road. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe if you're not new to my channel then nice to have you back and also make sure that you follow me on my social media links if you haven't already done so i do post some exclusive stuff on there sometimes that you won't find on my channel we're heading to the uh suspected vehicle now it's a pony i believe that's supposed to be some kind of white van of some sorts but we're going to head there quickly and apparently we have information the suspects are armed and they may have potential explosive devices on board so we need to be very careful as I said, we've got the ballistic shields in game. We've also got the exact rifle that the uh, CTSFOs and the Met Police firearms units use right now, which makes this really awesome. So pretty much anything in this video is going to be on point. The car, the equipment, the uniforms, it's all on point. It's all the exact same stuff they're using right now. Which I think is awesome. So uh, right. Sirens off, sirens off. Move it in. Alright, careful, keep the sirens off, search the area. They won't have an idea that it's us because we're just an X5. Right, looking for a pony, and I believe pony is some kind of van, I believe. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Right, we have the van on the Integrity Way. Oh, my bad, sorry, stand down, stand down. Updates on the van, though. Apparently they've attempted to rob a bank, and they got caught in the act, so they fleed. Right, which turn off is he using? I think he's using the right one. Stand by, put the reds on. Wait for further intelligence. Okay, he's on the motorway, that's good. We'll turn our sirens off as soon as we get there. It might not be a van, actually, it might be a car, but either way, we need to be very careful. Sirens off. Performing a stop shortly, you're going to be requesting CO19 additional units. Okay, we're on Route 20, we're performing a short, um, a uh, hard stop immediately. Okay guys, ready. Right, we have the vehicle in sight. He's pulling over, he's pulling over, staying a distance away from the vehicle. Right, as you can see, our vehicle's here, we're a healthy distance away. Right, I want to close all nearby roads off, so we're getting traffic to close the roads off. Stand by. Got the vehicle here. And no more traffic should be let through at this time, at the moment, as far as I know. So, let's just drive a bit back for a start. We have this guy pinned. They know we're police now. They don't know we're CTSFOs. They can't see inside our vehicle. They can just see the blue lights. They think we're regular coppers. Okay, guys, suit up. Get your rifle ready. Let's go. The weapon's pointed at the target. He's making off. He's making off. Oi. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Get out of the way, you nonce. Stop. Stop your vehicle. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Alright, the other guy's gonna arrest him. On the ground. Oi! Stop! Okay, got him, got him. He's just got a bomb, he's got a bomb. On the ground. Yeah, he had a bomb on him. 
okay, they were going to bomb the airport, actually. Turns out there these were suspected terrorists. They were attempting to uh, place pipe bombs inside Heathrow Airport. We detained them on um, A15. Wait, what are you doing here? Traffic should have stopped this traffic from getting through, but apparently it's not working. Got more units coming to arrest these guys. Come on now, let's go. Okay, so two down, two arrested. We need to call ambulance emergency support right now. So these guys had a plot to bomb the airport. We literally just stopped them as before they were leaving the motorway to get out of the city because apparently their plot got foiled. The airport police were alerted. They drove out the airport, as you can see. Right, this guy's dead. Call a corner as well. Forensic services. So basically, what I was saying, guys, is, you know, these guys were foiled. They left the city and we managed to intercept them before they went back to regroup because I believe what was happening, we had intelligence, they were going to um, regroup and come back in more numbers thanks to the security service and they alerted us appropriately. So he's got paramedics on scene. Come on, guys, scope. I've disarmed their bomb as well. My colleagues have over there. And this clown over here is going to get arrested for quite a while. This clown behind me as well is going to get arrested. All right, here's the van. Here you go. Here's, 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 here's your lunch. Right. Paramedics are on scene now, as you can see. Whoop. What is it? I hate that glitching error. Okay, okay, so paramedics are on scene. They're treating the suspects. I believe he's dead. This one may be still be alive, though. We want to keep him alive because we want to question as many of them as possible. Forensics are coming through, and that means I have to move my car. Come on, where is transport? There we go, transport's here. Because I don't want to get my car and then they follow me into the car, because that tends to happen a lot in this game. Uh, other CTSFOs were on scene, as you can see. Uh, we got a Jankle over here that was going to be, if we had a shootout, we would have been using this vehicle to cover and they would have, like, you know, protected carrier, basically. Not go anywhere near my car, mate. Go away. Okay, stand down, stand down. Standing by on the motorway, we've just got calls of an attempted attack on an MP at Elboro Heights, so we're going to head there immediately. Try and turn around here. Obviously a CTSFO, this is terror related according to security service, we're going to head there real quickly. Obviously we get the ballistic shields out, we're going to go call some backup, close off the roads, that type of thing, usual procedures. Make sure the city's protected and safe from whatever happens that we're going to be dealing with. Because when an incident happens, people tend to run back and these guys tend to run forwards to the problem. Sirens off, sirens off. Make an entry shortly. Tactical entry. This is a beautiful car. Really beautiful. Okay, it's so by the fire station. Apparently this MP was paying a visit to London Fire Brigade. And uh, they got assassinated. Basically the assassination attempt on their life was made. Right, okay, our officers suit up, boot up. Let's get our weapons out. Let's go. Right, we have authorization to move in. Single shot enabled. Authorization to move in. Stand by, he's in the tower apparently, he's in the tower. Okay, we've got the suspect in the tower, the uh, assassin apparently is a sniper and he's uh, he was aiming and apparently the police have got him pinned there right now, I believe it might be one of the firefighters, no it's not, sorry. Regular cops as well, hopefully not to close any nearby roads, we're moving in, team one's moving in. Checking each window, he might be anywhere, you even know. I just uh, zoom out, okay. Other units come in, see paramedics come in, regular police come in, London Fire Brigade, London Ambulance, all these uh, services are coming to uh, back us up. Right, stand by, because this could get quite nasty. Me, my colleagues, innocent people, they could be injured without even, you know, intending to. So, uh, as you can see, I've been very careful. Right, officers are going to be secure in the area, as you can see. Over there you've got ambulance, you've got police car, you've got paramedic. Quite a pretty uh, picture, actually. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. It's a very interesting setup. Right, that's awesome. Okay, right, here we go. Paramedics are up here. The wire and earth they're up there, but get out of the way, guys. Get out of the way. Let me through. Alright, needle dick, let me through. Right, okay. Drop the weapon. Shots fired. That was the only shot I had was a headshot. Suspect down, suspect down. The victor down. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, suspect's killed. We're gonna go invisible and pretend that we weren't even here because that's what happens typically. We're like uh, the invisible SWAT. 
as you can see these guys are packing back going home oh there's a bombing attempt this is gonna be very interesting Elboro Heights I don't know why they're bombing up there but apparently we have intelligence that there's someone that's been making an explosive device in one of the fact one of the abandoned factories outside the city and this is what I mean it's call outs you know they're nowhere near their targets but we, that's because our, our intelligence services are so good we managed to intercept them right away before they even enter the city and this is an example of that right now we're going to be going up to the location of the bomber potential bomber making explosives we have instructions not to kill them but to arrest them alive but we um, if they do bring out any bombs or anything like that anything dangerous then we can shoot on sight I have to get the ballistic shield out as well because that can protect us against fragmentation and our uh, terrorist response team is on the way got the guards letting me through the gate stand by and thank god there's no casualties in the area nearby, no potential casualties, it's just us so you won't need to call the ambulance or backup just yet just us because we want to be mobile very mobile response alright there's a car there, I guess there's animals and the cars, so we'll be careful about that alright stand by, stand by MP search for the mail now search is beginning now apparently one of these factories, one of the workers found out the employees was manufacturing his own pipe bomb so uh, we're going to be uh, scanning the area right now. Security's been alerted and they've evacuated most people from the site. Some employees not being counted for though, so it might be a potential hostile, hostage situation. We'll be very careful with that. I think I'm going to search this uh, site right here. I'm going to get MP to close the roads off. So uh, the uh, traffic units are going to close the roads off for us. Search the area now for the bomber. Right, we're leaving the radius. I've got up here. You might want a helicopter out, actually, because I believe they might be in the bushes. Oh, I see a suspect, a potential suspect. I see a person. All right, stand by, MP. I think we have the uh, potential suspect. This guy has no idea, does he? Yeah, he's got something in his hands, guys. He's got something in his hands. I'm going to not let him have the high ground because he's going to throw it out. So I'm going to drive around the area very sneakily. Uh, okay, he's going near the road. He might throw it at some traffic. Yeah, he definitely knows that we're coppers now because we're following him like this. It's so conspicuous. All right, stand by, MP, stand by. Okay, we're going to move in. All right, let's get the shields out. Weapons out, weapons deployed. I'm going to get the shield. Ballistic shields are equipped. Let's move in. I right, said, drop the, drop the bomb. Drop your object and don't detonate it, okay? We'll shoot. Drop it. Drop it. Well, there's no one you can harm over here. Drop it. There's no point. Stop where you are. We can do that bomb. Oh, it's suicide attempt. Drop! Oh! Get out. Evacuate the area. Oh my gosh. Damn it. I need ambulance over here. Oh my gosh, the freaking bushfire. Guys, get out of the area. Come on, quickly. Let's go. Oh, you freaking plonkers. Needle dick, noodle dick and whatnot. They've just got burnt. We need an ambulance urgently. Oh, two down. Need to get the hell out of this uh, freaking... Come on, come on, let's go. Drop this stupid shield. Just kind of pointless in the end. All right, we've got two down, two down, and the bushfire is spreading. The bushfire is literally spreading. Look at that. It's dangerous when fire... Oh, it's not spreading now. It's gone. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Ah, oh, if only I had a fire extinguisher in my hands. It was inside the car. I could have used it. My gosh. I hope they're okay. They look like they've been burnt. It's supposed to be anti-burn like suits as well we're wearing, but, you know, look at it. Two down. This guy was, it was a suicide attempt after all. It wasn't a terror attempt, but you never know. It could be, you know, suicide bombers are quite common. He went to blow us up with him too. We've got London Fire Brigade on scene. We've got the paramedics. We've got London Fire Brigade LFB on scene as well. So, so interesting. Happening outside the outskirts. Look at that. Oh, he fell over. <laughs> what a plonker. Okay. He's writing power. reports and they're going to be taking him back to the hospital for urgent treatment of their uh, severe burn wounds. We're going to drive back to the base. We have to write a log book because, of course, the regular coppers as well as pulled the area off. Right. To get out of this area. 
What is this guy doing here? Drive back to the base, guys, because we need to regroup. We're going to have to take something a bit more armoured this time, because apparently we've got a uh, heist that's coming up. We need to make sure we're equipped, so we're going to be taking the armoured car in a sec. I just need to get myself more partners. Okay, we've got a potential hostage situation at Vespucci Beach and an address there. We have to take the Jankel, the armoured vehicle, out because it's a siege. Oh, what's this clown? Oi! What's this clown doing here? Come here. On the ground, drop the weapon. Drop it! Drop it. What the hell was this guy doing here? What was he thinking? Scared my officer away as well. Come on, you freaking needle dick, you're an idiot. Well, let's go head to that incident right away. Let's get the jankle. What? It's the closest thing you can get to a bear cat. Bear cat in UK is this vehicle. It's like a literally our armored vehicle. All right, Mr. Clown's been arrested. We're headed to the beach now. Taking this armored vehicle because we were recommended by the officers on scene to uh, arrive in this jankle to use as cover too, and obviously with the airport, so get out of the way, come on. I'm gonna push you out of the way, you idiot. About two miles away, or just 1.5 miles away now, and the response time's gonna be around two to three minutes. It's not as slow as you think this vehicle, it's quite a fast truck, it's got a very powerful engine. And the armour is mainly, it's not like tank armour, it's just protection against 9mm bullets and fragmentation, but uh, it does the job. It is a protected carrier. It is the closest thing you got to the military and the police's arsenal. Guys, we're going to be deploying shortly. Almost there. Our weapons, tear gas, and non lethal weapons will be enabled as well. Very important that we keep uh, the hostage and the attacker both alive. Okay, this is the only armored vehicle on scene. So, as you can see right now, guys, this is a fully barricaded situation. So, we've got all of our cells here. Do not get too close to the vehicle. Sorry, building, not vehicle. Okay, so we're here, guys. I want to show you a little bit of a look around the map first. Closing off the nearby roads. Actually, we'd have to do that. The script did that for us. As you can see, a bit of an overview. So, suspects in the in the building, apparently. Got BBC News on the scene. Reporters uh, reading from a script. I don't know why I do that. And you've got the van. Got officers here, too. Other firearms officers. Let's get our weapons. Let's equip ourselves. Okay. Ready to go. All right, command officer, what's happening here? What's happening? Hey, I'm speaking to you. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? All right, it's very difficult for me to actually get next to her and speak to her, which is quite weird, but let's get this idiot out of the way. Okay, right. Okay, commander, what's happening here? Wait to speak to me, gosh. Oh, it's a bit annoying. I think it's because I'm not in a ped. I'm not a cop ped. I'm a, a, a marine ped. That's what I use to put these uh, officers in. So I'll disregard that. Speak to the command post officer. This copper here is calling the place off. Oi, right, put your stab vest on. All right, let's go. Move in. Tag team one is moving in. We've been authorized to take the uh, hostage alive and the suspect as well, but if anything happens, you can have authority to shoot them, mainly the suspect. Okay, moving in, moving in, I've got CO-19 covering me. Get up here right now. So playing as London's armed Metropolitan Police. Okay, so the building's on the right. Oh, shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired. Whoa, are you okay? Get, the, get out the area, get out the area. Oh, someone's shooting. It's the female, she's shooting. Suspect down, suspect down. 
collect the evidence. Officers are in. Officers are inside. Reloading. Checking the evidence. It's a knife. Alright guys, where's that hobo guy? Where's that guy that looks a bit like a tramp? Where is he? We need to go arrest him or like collect him because he looked quite sketchy. He might be in the hostage, but he looks sketchy either way. Alright, is this room clear? Clear. You piece of shit. Clear. Move, move, move. Get out of the way, officer. Out of the way. Where's the hostage? He's been released, but where is he? I'll ask him some questions. Why am I walking so casually? Come on. I wanna run, man, run. Where's the hostage? You see anyone run out? No? Oh, that's very useful, isn't it? Stand down, stand down. Hostage has been freed. Suspect has been arrested. Well, suspect has been shot, actually. Stand down. That was interesting. Let's go. Someone's attempted to rob the bank. Head in there right now. I'm not sure if this guy's updated the script or not in terms of this call out, so we're going to see how it goes. It should be very interesting. Again, we're heading with the armored car. We need the additional protection. You don't want this big, huge chunk of metal rolling towards you at 70 miles per hour, so I recommend you idiots get out of the way. <laughs> okay, let's head there. As you can see, we've got me and my um, partner next to me. Two officers in the back as well. Get out of the way. We shouldn't really ram vehicles, but if they're going to be like that, it's a bit annoying. Okay guys, we're here, and this is the thumbnail that you would have clicked on the video for, this is it. We're going to go into the bank siege situation, but this time round we've got actual equipment, you know, the real deal. We're coming in an armoured carrier, speak to Captain Wells I believe, I think he's been uh, retired now, he's been fired from the police force. Alright, what's happening here? They try <laughs> Now they're held up, they're held, they're, um, held up and uh, they have hostages, they're about two, around two, there's not, not sure about suspects. Let's see the CCTV tech support on the way. Okay, so we can't see the uh, suspects right now. Let's go. Shut up the alarm. Uh, we use these CS grenades. Okay. Right. More information. Okay, they got the usual kind of thing. Let's go. We team alpha. Oh, oh shots fired! Shots fired! Move in! Hold your fire, hold your fire, suspect, suspect, hostage. Drop the weapon. Get out of the way. Leave the area. Leave the area now. Let's go, let's go again. Okay, right. Suspect's there. Check. These guys wearing purple. I think they leave the ball as a part of the gang. Oh, suspect carrying a weapon. Oh, where's that fire come from? Oh, jeez. These guys are actually quite smart. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Freaking Natasha. I just shot her. Like Aaron's girlfriend. Right, I won't shoot a dead dude because I know you guys want him in the series. They don't suppress the fire. We're using the CS gas now. Throw gas. Oh, Alright, guys, on my mark. Three, two, one. Move, move, move. Come on, CO19 officers, move in, move in, move in. Suspect down, suspect down. Okay, that's careful, careful, careful. Move up, move up. Move it in. Let's go. I want to try and at least get this right one time, guys. I think a hostage actually certainly got killed, though. I'm not sure, though. Right, check this area. Let's go in. Room clear. I'll turn the sensitivity of my mouse up as well. Move it in. Okay, clear. I love this Corsair mouse. You can literally change the sensitivity. So if you're a CQB or if you're like long range sniper shots, you can literally change it on the spot. Move, move, move. Okay, check the area from above. Okay, go downstairs now. I'm gonna go downstairs because there's always someone behind the door in that vault, I swear. So either Peter use or Elbow's uh, call out. Right, get out of the building, sir. Get out of the building. Come on, let's go. Oh, he's a bit still. I think he's in shock. That's why he's standing really still. 
Alright, down to the vault. Down to the vault, come on. Okay, clearing the vault. Is there anyone behind here? There usually is someone a bit sneaky behind here. No, it is not. Okay, wow, that's a surprise. Okay, suspects are down. Uh, officers have cleared the building. Building is clear. That was impressive. So many people got killed, but you know, I don't want to even look to be honest. They usually come out of this area as well, so be careful. Alright, seems like it's good. Okay, so these new equipment is awesome. I've got to say, the new weapons, the new pets, everything, it's just so good. I was going to speak to the command post officer debrief. Okay, so uh, I want to say we finished the video now. I want to say like, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, comment, etc, etc. I will see you in some more videos soon. You will love the content on my channel. I guarantee you're going to love it. We're going back home for a debrief. So I'll see you guys in another episode. Stay tuned. Till then.